Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. So today what we're going to be doing is basically learning how to use the random teleportation command. So if we go slash RT, um, I have created a random teleportation command based on um, user suggestion. So um, yeah, so basically as you can see it randomly teleports you somewhere and uh, even though we're in the same biome it's still randomly teleporting us eventually we'll get out of this biome i guess it's a really big biome uh we're at a nice plains biome now so that's at least something a little bit different it was actually randomly teleporting us somewhere different yeah this looks like a really big biome so if we type it again maybe we'll get out sometimes this would be the first time that it, it oh no oh, it did work okay so, um, sometimes it takes a while to actually run the command. There's a lot of procedure stuff that needs to be done. Um, like, it cycles it through 2,000 times, but I'll cover how all that works in a sec. So, uh, let's hop into it, and as you can see, that's basically what we're covering today. It's basically just a um, random teleportation command, so let's hop into it. So the first thing that I should probably note is it's running off of a uh, variable system. So what we have here is our global variables. We have a random X, random Y, and random Z. They're all number variables. And uh, they're for the uh, global world. So this is basically per world, I believe. And then it's um, the default value is zero. So if we go into our mod elements, um, as you can see, we have three things. Uh, the third thing right here is just the, the, the overlay for the variables for the global variables. We don't actually need this. We could delete this if we really wanted to and it will still work perfectly fine. Um, the other thing that we have is the random TP, which is the command that we're issuing. Uh, we don't need to put a slash uh, in front of it for the command. Uh, we just need to type the command itself in. So the command is RT for random teleporter and the description for the help text is um, basically random teleporter and then we're running a procedure down here. So in the procedure, um, we'll cover that just right now. It's going to actually take a little bit of time to load. It's pretty laggy when it gets all loaded up. Um, because there's a lot going on. There's like a lot of elements and stuff in here. So I'll try covering it as best as I can. Um, there is some new things that I actually need to cover though in this video. So the first thing is if you go to logic and loops, there's a repeater uh, right here. I don't want to put it there. So what this is uh, basically doing is it's going to repeat the process, the command, um, the amount of amount of time that you set it to so what you would do is put a number in here and say you want to repeat it say 10 times so this would basically repeat whatever's in the do section 10 times so that's basically what this is doing here um, the other thing that's important to note if we go back here there is a breakout uh, section so this uh, basically does is if it um, complete something if there's an if statement in here and it does if it is able to do it so if we go and create a if statement and just stick that there and then we have that in there we'll have our condition and then what this is going to do if the condition is true then it's going to break out of the loop so say it's on eight um, when it it's able to do it then it's just going to say okay we don't need to do this anymore so that's basically how a repeater works um, now that's Basically what's going on here is we're setting it to 200 and uh, it's going to be testing for random location 200 times uh, before basically just ending the loop. So the next thing that we're doing is a little bit something different that we haven't covered before either and that is uh, basically multiplying a random, um, a random number by a set amount. So I'll explain how all this works. Uh, the next thing that you should probably note is there is a random um, or local variable over here. Uh, random, uh, random x count, random z count, and random y count. 
So those are all up here, right here. And what we're gonna be doing is setting the random X count, Y and Z count uh, to a solid number. So we're basically rounding the number. So if we go here and select a round, we can actually round numbers to solid numbers. And uh, what we need to do is multiply the random number by the amount of chords that we want to teleport the player at. So basically what we're doing is we're multiplying x uh, times 10,000 and what this is going to do is um, it's going to take that number and make it between anywhere from I believe 1 to 10,000 so it's going to go okay uh, the random number blah 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 and then it's going to say okay you can teleport 10,000 times so um, that's basically a range number so it's going to go anywhere from 1 to not, uh, 10,000 where y is basically going to go to 1 to 100 so it's going to try to find somewhere within a hundred range and uh, then what it's doing after it passes the local variables and setting those it's going to set a global variable so it's doing the exact same thing it's just uh, random randomizing the number and it's uh, using the local variable as a uh, number that needs to be teleported so once that's done it's basically catching some stuff this is optional i would keep the y coordinates in at least but the um the coordinates for the x and z can be removed if you want longer distances i haven't tried it so um use it with caution but uh, the actual system in here is basically just testing if the global variable is over uh, 10,000 if so it's setting it to 10,000 and if the uh, y uh, variable is greater than 255 it's going to set it to 255 and if the variable for y is under 63 then it's going to set it to 63 and then finally the same thing for as x it's going to set um, z the local z count to um, yeah, so that's basically how this all works. It's going to set it to a solid number if it's um, over a certain, out, a certain amount. And this is basically where the rest of the code sits. Um, this is basically all the coordinates. There's quite a bit of it. Um, it's really choppy, but you can kind of get an idea on how many coordinates that the player can teleport. They're all random directions um, based on diagonal and Z count and all that other stuff, as well as altitude changing. So that's partly why it's really laggy. But if we go into the if statement here, the first one, and you can see that it's just basically passing the next thing. So if this is if the first if statement isn't true for the condition, it's just going to try running the next if statement and so on. So that's basically how it's testing for the if statement there. The uh, actual condition though is important. It's going to be testing for coordinates around the um, global location that the teleporter is trying to teleport the player at. And what it's going to do is test for a block of grass underneath the player. And if that's true, then uh, it's also going to test for well, it's going to test for all of these, but it's uh, also going to test for uh, air in a um, three by uh, like X is times three, a Z is times three, and Y is times two. So it's going to look for a cube of air at the player level where they're teleporting, where the grass is going to be underneath the player where they're teleporting. And once if that's true, then it's going to teleport from there. So we can minimize that because it's really choppy. So if that's true, then what it's going to do is going to take the global um, variable and it's going to teleport the player to those coordinates. So if that's true, then it's also going to um, provide a message to the player and then it's going to break out the loop like we explained before. So that's basically all the... Um, thing does it's pretty straightforward it just takes a little bit of time to set up and a lot of patience with um actually getting the coordinates and with all the lag for the actual program 
So uh, outside of that, uh, if we just um, exit out of this, and then you can basically see the last thing is just putting um, a ver an overlay for the random uh, X, random Y, and random Z global variables on the display. So you can actually delete this if you don't need it. So uh, if we hop back in game, I'll basically show you how it all works. All right, so we spawned in a plains biome just outside of a village. Uh, our coordinates are pretty much zero, zero. It's just a little bit off of zero, zero. So if we type slash RT, and it will basically randomly teleport us between a 10,000 cord limit. So we are now in a forest biome um, about 1,000 blocks away from spawn. Uh, next to the ocean still so we'll test uh, for RT again and we're now um, The opposite direction of where we just were we're on X negative 767 and our negative Z coordinates is uh, 1173 so if we type that again um, It'll teleport us basically here so we are at um, negative 8085 and negative 1168 so as you can see it, it is kind of random it will teleport a player between a 10,000 coordinate if you want to get rid of the uh, random coordinate thing then you can basically set the uh, remove that little section of code where it's testing if it's uh, greater than 10,000 uh, for the X and Z coordinates and then it should be able to be a higher number. Uh, but other than that, uh, that's basically my tutorial for the week. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and also if you have any suggestions or comments on future videos, definitely uh, suggest them down in the comments. I keep track of them and I will, if I can figure it out how to do it, I'll definitely do a tutorial on it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.